shot at it, Marcus? Sure. <laughs> like, um, if for more, you know, the three um, we're multiplying by two million because that's like three blocks, right? Each um, figure. So the figure gets three more. And the figure one has seven, and then we already decoded okay. three from it. So I mean, four left over, so we have to add that onto it. Okay, so it's like your this twenty-one times three is like you're adding on this three. <coughs> Right? And then the three and three and three and three for all the ones. So you're adding on actually these these twenty from here all, all the way up. This three here, and you're adding on these four right there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, so this is like starting from so right here is like starting from where? From which figure would this be starting from? Zero. 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 No. You're zero. Zero. What would figure zero look like? Four. 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 Yeah. Four block. So what shape little, would it have just based like on the pattern? Like the outside without the two inside. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without these two? No, without the ones in the middle. Without these. No, it'd just be a square. Yeah. The right, like just take a look at, the, at the, what the pattern oh, is looking yeah. like. Oh, yeah. So you take those guys off, so it'd be a little what? A little square, a two by two square. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these four little studs. Yeah. So apparently they're called in Lego. Lego. Studs. Studs. Just a one by one. Stud. Did you say dope? So let's take a look at this now. How many steps? If I want to start at figure zero and go up to one, two, three, four, five, six, the twenty-first figure. How many steps is it to get from zero to twenty-one? 21 steps, right? Not 20 steps, 21 steps. So 21 steps, adding on three, plus, right, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and so on, and so on, and so on. Right? Uh, instead of counting that, that's kind of a tedious thing to do. Let's just say we take 21 steps times three blocks added on every step, 21 times three. 61. 61, plus the four that this guy would have, right? So that would take us to how many? 65. 65. I don't think this is 61 then. This is 63. Yeah, 63. Plus 4, 67. Yay. Just like we know from this one, it's 67. Now, if we wanted to, we could be weird and we could back up even one more step, right? That would be a figure with one block in it. But uh, starting at figure zero, starting at figure one, like I said, probably the two most popular approaches. For somebody with no experience, just doing their best to figure it out. I bet that's what they would do, either back up to figure zero or start at figure one. That would be my guess. Okay. We'll do this a few more times. We've got the number of steps that we take, the, the, how much the blocks are changing by, right? and how much we started with. How many blocks we started with? So, no help at all at the beginning, of course. I'll hold it up in a little bit. See if you can take that reasoning and apply it to this new problem. The pattern is a fine little bit, right? We take a certain number of steps. Of course, we should know which figure we're going to. How about figure 37? Oh, yeah. Figure 37. Oh, uh, by how much? Two by two, this goes up two. So the pattern that we're following is that we're going to add two on a lot of times, right? Lots and lots of times. If I were to go from figure one to figure three, how many times would I add on two to get to figure three? Two times I would go up once, twice that gets me to figure three, okay? So here's figure one and here's figure five, just for a point of reference. How many times am I going to go up if I start from figure one to get to figure five? Four. 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 I'm going to go up one and add them two that many times. Right? One time I'm going to add them two, add them two twice, three times, four times. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Too much of a distraction. So we're going to go up two 
four times, right? Two, four, six, eight. I would add on eight to get from figure one to figure five. Okay? <laughs> How many times would I go up to get from figure one to figure 37? 36. 36, 36 times. 36 Ooh. times. Not 37 times. 36 times. So how many times are we going to add on two? 36. Now how do I add up 36 twos really quickly? That's a multiplication problem. 36 times two. All right, 36 steps to get to 37. Each of those worth two blocks. 36 times two. But that's just how many we're adding on. How many do we start with? Five. Let's add that on to five. Now we've got the number of blocks in figure 37. Okay. So five plus 72, 72 equals 77. So how, how about someone get 79? Ooh. I don't know. Uh, say, say 37 times 2 instead of 36. Okay, 37 times 2 plus 5, right, is how they would get 79. But, well, we do 37 times uh, 2 plus, three. plus what? Three. Plus 3, right? Yeah. Instead of plus 5, we can back up one. We can go to figure 0. Let's see, let's try and see if we can multiply, not multiply, but move all this stuff around. Just over here. We can look at figure 0. Well, it looks like we keep adding one on to the right. We keep adding one on downward. So if we were to follow that pattern backwards to figure zero, three there. like this, right? Yeah. Like take that guy away. And we keep, we, we, if we were to follow this pattern backwards, take this one off, take this one off, take this one off, and that one would be gone. So we'd have three in figure <laughs> zero. zero. Figure zero. Question. Yes. Wouldn't you have um, one in negative one figure negative one? Oh, in figure negative one. It's a good question. Figure negative one. You're saying how many would be there? Yeah. Wouldn't it just be one? Yeah, it would be one. Because, well, just pure numbers tells us if I'm going to add on two from figure negative one and get three, I should start with one. If I were to follow the pattern and take away this guy and this guy, I would just be left with that top right corner of that little square. Mm. How many would be in figure negative two? Negative two. Negative one. <laughs> so we'd have to take away two from this, right? Yes, yeah, so it'd be negative. No, negative one. Yeah, negative one. I mean, what, what, it doesn't make sense in blocks, right? What's that negative one block? Does it make any sense? But if we were to back up to, to negative figure negative two, right? You know, no, we go one. back. One, back another one, zero, and then back another two, negative one. So there'd be negative one blocks in figure negative two. Right? Like, here's a different way to look at it. The figure number we call x. The, uh, the number of blocks, number of blocks, we could call So figure one had had uh, what? Figure one had five in it. Figure two had seven. Figure three had nine. We back up. Figure zero has three. Figure negative one, we, like we're gonna back up two. Get up here. We back up two from here. We get one. Back up another two. Negative, negative one. one. Figure negative two has negative one blocks in it. Now, this is the kind of thing that is conceivable at some point in math history. Somebody was looking at a problem like this, and there was never any negative numbers before. And they're like, well, look at this pattern. If I keep following this pattern backwards, like, I have to be able to go back two to something. So maybe that's where negative numbers were invented, right? Those are the kind of things that I like to think about, tell myself the story about that. So there's a good, good discussion, good extension. <coughs> Uh, let's try this one here. If you feel like you're about to take about two seconds,
and uh, throw some numbers on there and you're really confident of where you're going to go, then I would challenge you to do that and also try starting from figure zero, okay, like we talked about. If you're not comfortable starting at figure zero, then don't worry about starting at figure zero. Just try it as a challenge if you feel you're up to it. Let's go up to figure 42. Figure 42. All right, so start from scratch every time I go up. Oh, what happens? There's four. Four. Add on four. We add one up here. There's one down here. One on top and one on the left. We add a total of four every time. If I do that pattern again, one here, one here, one here, one here. I add on four again. How many times will I add on four if I go all the way to 42? 41 times I'll be adding on a four. And that's why we call it times. 41 times I'm going to add on a four. 41 times four. Okay, but this, this thing here, this part here, 41 times four, is only figuring out how many blocks how many blocks of what? 20, I mean 41. How many blocks are needed for 41 40 steps? You know? So, okay, so how many blocks are going to be added on? Added on to what? Added on to figure one. Right? Added on to these, how many blocks? Three blocks. Three blocks. So we're adding on this many blocks to three blocks. So if we don't add on those three blocks here, we've left out those three that we started with. We figured out how many to add on, but we forgot about the three we started with. So we add three. 41 times four plus three, which comes out to be? 167. Okay, here is, here's the kicker. What about this? So, figure one has three blocks. Figure two has how many blocks? Because it's three more than the figure, or sorry, four more than the figure before it. So figure one must have three more blocks than the figure before it, figure zero. How many blocks does this have to have? How many blocks does this figure have to have so that when I add Negative four, one. I get to three blocks. Negative one blocks. So now we have to think about what would negative one blocks look like? Air, oxygen, particles. Yeah. Well, I think zero blocks would look like zero, like air, right? Now, negative one blocks, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you can't have a negative one block. So, like, somehow it's just blank space where one block should be, but it's actually a negative block. Yeah. Like a dotted block. Maybe a square with a minus sign. Square with a minus sign. Right? These are all just ideas how we could represent a negative block. I don't know why there's talking. There shouldn't be any. James stays forward. Talking. Uh, so, how can we represent a negative block? All sorts of ways. Dotted block, negative sign in a block, a different colored block. A red block could be a negative block. A circle could be a negative block. Okay? Something that somehow everybody agrees this thing is a negative block. Okay? However, we all would agree to do it. So, we all have to agree on something, we would use that, and that's how we could represent a negative one block. But it works if I start out with a negative one block, right? When I add on one, I'm actually at zero blocks. I add on two, three, four blocks, and I'm up to a positive three blocks at figure one. Right, so what I want you to do now, or somebody to do, when you're in the zipping, you're in, you got lots of minutes left. I want someone to come up and create three figures that we can use. Take it out to wherever. Colby? Yeah. Come on up. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. Yeah. Just grab up here with it. Hold on. Yeah. 
Just once he's decided what figure one's gonna look like, you guys start by drawing figure one. Oh, we got figure one there? Not yet, not yet. All right, there's figure one. Let's go ahead and get busy drawing figure one. Colby's gonna, gonna go for figure two now. Actually, you don't need to do it. <laughs> Does he have consistent pattern? Yeah. No. 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 Really. no. Let's say, yes. let's say numbers-wise, does he have a consistent pattern? No. Yes. No. Sort of. How much does it add on every time? Plus two. two. There's uh, five. Uh, and here's uh, five, six, seven. <laughs> here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just so yeah, the numbers are at uh, work out. But the physical pattern? No. no. We switched, it seems like you switched from adding on one up here to adding one down here. So what if we just move that guy up there? Yay! <coughs> Moving it, like it extending it out this way and going up like that. Uh, All right, so let's figure out how many are in figure 57 of Colby's pattern. Thank okay. you very much, Colby. You can just <laughs> there, you see? Because, because, how many do we add on every time? Two. Two. How many twos 
Will we add on? 56, right? One, two, three. I'm thinking the 56, it would take 56 twos. And on 56 times 2. Plus 5. Why plus 5? Because you started with 5. You started with, man. Gosh. Yeah. Olivia, you're in 17. What Olivia. What about figure 0? How many would be in figure 0? 3. 3. 100%. Uh, because we would take off 2, we'd take off uh, that one and that one, and we'd have 3. Yeah. Figure 0, figure 1, figure 2, figure 2. Now if we start from 0, it takes just as many steps as the figure number to get up to figure 57. So 57 steps Nine, times two, two plus, three. plus we started with three. Okay. Before, the only reason we subtracted was because the number of blocks in figure zero was actually a negative number of blocks. But it's a positive number of blocks here, so we have those three. We back up the figure negative one, we can start from there. But why? why would Figure one or figure zero, I think, are pretty intuitive. Um, here's the thing that I'm going to have you, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, okay? But not, not too big a challenge if you have been concentrating on the why and not just the how. Okay? What's the why? The thing I'm going to ask you to do, you've been doing, like, if you've been doing this consistently, you're like, oh yeah, so this Six times, what's the change? Okay, I'm going to multiply by the change, add on what? The number of squares that I started with, right? For this pattern right here, Colby's pattern, I want you to come up with a way to, like a formula that anybody can use to get to figure X, okay? Not figure three, not figure four, not figure five, not figure 57, figure X, okay? But X, it plays the same part as the number of the figures. This formula is just kind of like instructions. All right, so your, your formula is going to say something like this. Let's go on your formula. It's going to say, like, okay, so they gave you the figure number, right? So you take that figure number, you do that with it, and you multiply it by this, and you add this, right? The, that's what a formula does. It says, take that number that they gave you, do this with it, do that with it, okay? And you're done. Okay? That's the homework. It's a little bit of a challenge. And then we're going to figure out what's a formula you can, for a figure number X. Give the basically the instructions and use the parentheses order of operations to say here's what the formula is. Try to find the formula. Yeah, the formula. Plus one. Plus one. So your formula should look like a star job. Like y equals, right? And on the other side you have basically the instructions for finding the number of blocks. So we're just practically making our own problem. Well, you're using this pattern. You're using this pattern. Notice we've used a formula every time we've done this because notice how they have every approach has had a very similar structure. This guy times this guy plus this guy. Your formula is not going to look a whole lot different from that. Okay. So figure X and uh, right, have a good lunch.